Hey friends and happy Thanksgiving. Today I'm gonna to be dining at a restaurant I've never dined at on Disney property and they're actually gonna be doing a special Thanksgiving dinner and then we're gonna follow up with a trip to the Magic Kingdom to check out all the Christmas cheer and to end it with my little holiday special I've been working on. So let's go do this. The restaurant that I'm talking about is the Garden Grove. And as you can see, they're doing a special Thanksgiving dinner. And it's right here at the Walt Disney World Swan Hotel. I've never been here, but I don't think any other restaurants on Disney property are doing a special Thanksgiving dinner. So when I seen the opportunity to grab this, I grabbed it. And I'm excited to try a new restaurant. But one thing I want to point out here in the Swan Hotel is the gigantic holiday chocolate Santa display that they have here. Look at this, isn't it beautiful? I didn't even know they were doing that this year. But it gives you all the specs right here, including 960 man hours to actually make this. That's a lot of time. Time well spent, I say. Normally this restaurant is an all-you-can-eat character buffet and like I said, I've never been inside of it So I don't know what to expect. I know they're probably not gonna do the buffet But it's probably gonna be like family style kind of like how Liberty Tree is or Whispering Canyon Cafe and that's okay with me I like listening to the Christmas music they have in the walkway here and as you can see we have kimonos Which is the karaoke sushi bar, which we will definitely be visiting sometime soon and then the Garden Grove. I am excited to go to the Magic Kingdom tonight, but it's not gonna be until a little bit later. The only time I can get a reservation today was like at one o'clock. So we'll go there once it gets a little darker out because I like looking at all the pretty lights at Magic Kingdom. Here's a quick look at the Thanksgiving dinner menu. And I have to say, the price is only $36.99. That is super cheap compared to like the other offerings that they have. Like if you went to uh, Liberty Tree, it'd be about $55. We have bottomless cup of soup or turkey noodle soup. And then present it family style to the table, all you can eat. Yep, this is what I'm talking about. Turkey, ham, stuffing, mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, green bean casserole, and then even desserts. This place looks so cool. There's a gigantic tree right in the middle of the dining room, and it's got little lanterns that flicker. Really cool, I'm liking it here. They have a selection of different wines and beers, but no Bud Light. But thankfully enough, they have some Miller Lights and a nice family over there who watches the videos just sent this over to me and said, Happy Thanksgiving. It literally made my day. I think I'm gonna actually start off with the turkey noodle soup, but also I noticed that you have to actually choose between turkey and ham. So I definitely went with the turkey, and you can actually get white meat, dark meat, or a little bit of both. I asked for a little bit of both. <laughs> they also give you an option between the mixed green salad and the Caesar salad. Oh, looks like my turkey noodle is here. Thank you. Look at this. I love turkey noodle soup. Oh wow, I can just see the turkey chunks right in there. This is what I'm talking about. This is bottomless, oh boy. The turkey soup is so delicious. I absolutely love chicken noodle, and I don't get turkey noodle that often, but a little mix up, good for Thanksgiving, just the way I like it. Along with my soup, we got the rolls. We got the cheddar biscuits. We got the sweet rolls and the corn muffins. Look at these sweet rolls though, oh my lord. Oh, these are gonna be so amazing, I can tell already. Definitely on par with Texas Roadhouse rolls. Very, very delicious. And now the salad has arrived. This is a feast and this is just me guys. Holy moly. See, this is what they do, they try to fill you up before you get to the good stuff. I know the tricks. Regardless, I'm still gonna probably eat all the rolls. That's just how it is. Now the food has arrived. Oh boy. cranberry sauce for you. Thank you. Can I get you anything else please? Oh no, this looks good. Oh, this looks really good. And look at that. Main course has arrived. We've got turkey, green bean casserole, mashed potatoes with gravy, sweet potatoes, and then stuffing. Oh, this is, this is much too good. Oh boy. I think I'm gonna go stuffing first. 
because I absolutely love stuffing and I think it's a crucial Thanksgiving uh, item. Even more important than turkey sometimes. So we're gonna give this a go. That's good stuffing. Oh, that's good stuffing. So now we're gonna do a little stuffing and sweet potato at the same time. Mix a little, little turkey gravy. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And now for the turkey. You gotta get down to the turkey. Oh, wow. That's good turkey looking already. A little bit of mashed potatoes. Oh, yeah. A little bit of stuffing. Probably not that big of a bite. That's perfect. Okay, so if I was to rank this, I would have to say the stuffing is my favorite. Then followed up by the turkey then the gravy, then the mashed potatoes. The least thing I like most is the casserole, but you know, casserole sometimes is hit or miss. Anywho's, I absolutely love this. And this is endless or bottomless, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get more because I ate those two rolls already, plus this and my soup, and then we have like six desserts coming later. So I don't know, we'll see how this goes. But. Who am I kidding? I'm probably gonna get another helping. Maybe just the stuffing, the turkey, and the mashed potatoes. I feel like if I get a whole other, like just gigantic portion, I probably will waste it. So we'll stick to just what we like. Round two. I am so happy I'm not going to Magic Kingdom until later on. I need time to digest. I feel like everyone gets that way on Thanksgiving. Definitely need a good hour. Maybe I'll take a power nap. <gasps> A power nap on Thanksgiving sounds amazing. Oh boy. But this is just so good. Honestly, this is way better than what I was expecting. But I also figure places like Liberty Tree Tavern and Garden Grill and all those other places you can get that Thanksgiving meal all year round. This is only a one time a year thing here. So like that's what makes it even more special, you know? Oh boy. What did I do? <laughs> I think I feel a little bit of the meat sweats happening, but now time for the desserts. Oh boy, I was not prepared for this. So we've got apple pie, pecan pie, pumpkin pie, and then we've got a creme brulee, which is kind of a little fancy way that they display that creme brulee, the cheesecake, and then the chocolate brownie cake. Oh, I'm gonna have so much fun tasting each one of these. First things first, it's the apple pie. Oh, it's like a tart apple pie. Oh, look at that center. Oh boy. Oh, kind of butchered it. There you go. Get in there. Get in there. There you go. Apple pie was very good. Now it's time for some pecan. Oh, that came apart real easy. Now it's time for the pumpkin. Out of the three different pies, I'd have to say the pecan was my favorite. Apple was pretty good, but way too much cinnamon. Still very delicious though. And I think I'm gonna start with the creme brulee on this side first. Vanilla creme brulee. Oh wow, that's pretty smooth. Oh yeah, creme brulee is delicious. Now we're gonna try the chocolate brownie cake. Oh, this one's a little hard. Ooh, fancy this. And now, the pumpkin cheesecake. Uh-oh. There it goes, uh-oh. I guess I'll just go like this. <laughs> For those, the creme brulee all the way. All the way creme brulee. That was absolutely amazing. Oh, I am so full now though. So, so full. I have to say, for my first visit here, this was a very good experience. I absolutely love the atmosphere. They're playing Christmas music. I love the tree and the lanterns. And the food was phenomenal. Very good. I'm happy. Ooh, there's a little Christmas tree right there, too. That was so delicious. Now we need to make our slow walk out of here. It's so beautiful in here, though. Like, look at this swan fountain and the ceilings, even. I've never been this deep into the swan. I usually just come up a little bit like where the garden grove was, 
but I've never seen any of this before and I like it a lot. Oh, and I like how they have Christmas trees in the spinny doors. Come on, tree. Let's go for a ride. That's what I feel like is happening right now. Oh, there's a tree. And here's a tree. How really awesome is that? And after a short little nappity nap, we're at the Magic Kingdom. I am so happy to be ending the night on Thanksgiving here at the Magic Kingdom. This is like probably one of the best places to be. I'm not too sure what I'll be doing tonight at the Magic Kingdom. I know that they were actually testing fireworks in between the castle projections last night. So maybe they'll do them again today. But man, I'm just happy to be here. So we'll definitely wait around to see if we get to catch any of those fireworks. And maybe we can squeeze in a ride or two. But I also told you guys in the beginning of the video that I was planning a little holiday special with something that I was working on. And uh, I'm gonna show you that at the end of the video. I matched up a bunch of different lyrics and music and put it to some pretty amazing video. And uh, I don't know, I guess I'm gonna call it Walt's Holiday Special. So we'll show you that at the end of the night. A good way to tell when the castle projections are going to happen is at the end of the night, one last cavalcade will come out. It's usually Santa. He'll come up Main Street and then back down. And then once he's in those doors, bada boom. Alright, I think it's going to happen here, guys. But now it is getting dark here in the Magic Kingdom and this is what I've been waiting for all night. Just to see all the different multicolored lights, stare at the Christmas tree, stare at the castle. This is a perfect way to end a Thanksgiving. The temperature outside is beautiful. In fact, I think I might actually try to squeeze in maybe an outdoor ride. That'd be fun. And since Astro Orbiter is probably the closest outdoor ride to the hub, I think we're going to do that and see if we can see some fireworks as we ride, because that'd be really cool. The crowd levels in Tomorrowland are amazing. Thinking this is actually Thanksgiving night here, look at this. And look at Astro Orbiter taking off. That's what we're going to go ride. Look at that. From up here, you can see the Contemporary Resort and Bay Lake Tower. I'm so excited to get a castle shot, hopefully with some fireworks. It's so amazing up here, isn't it? This is one of those rides I feel like it doesn't get enough credit. I just absolutely love the views and just the whole concept of it. Right over there is the castle. Do you see it peeking out? We gotta find ourselves a space rocket. I don't know which one to pick. Maybe this one? Yeah, look it. Right there she is! Uh-oh. We might not have timed three, this right. Two, one. Oh boy, it's happening. We're gonna catch the fireworks. Oh no, but once if I miss him on the other side. Wow. I don't know what it is about that ride. I absolutely love it. And it's like one of those rides where if you're at nighttime, I think it's 10 times better. I'm gonna keep moving along because I wanna catch more of the firework burst. I love that they added those to the castle. It just makes it so much better. And one of my favorite places to actually watch the projections this year is right here in front of the fountain. can't go wrong with a good old water fountain shot. That was so much fun. I like how they changed the colors in the water fountain. And I'm just having fun sitting here in the hub on Thanksgiving. And I'm just happy to be here. I'm thankful for today and I'm thankful for tomorrow. And I think that's gonna do it for me. I'm gonna play you guys my little holiday special. Like I said, 
It's uh, just something I've been working on and I like uh, matching up different Walt Disney speeches with some music and with just some beautiful footage. And I uh, hope you enjoy this and I uh, hope you have a happy holidays. We'll see you next time. Bye! Well, here it is, another Christmas time. And I must agree with my grandchildren, it's just about the neatest time of the year. One of the nicest things about the holiday season is exchanging greetings with our many friends. For these messages from all over the world represent the true spirit of Christmas in many different ways. And once again, we put together another Christmas show for you. So let's turn back the calendar to the days when it all started. During the Christmas holidays or any other season here at Disneyland, Main Street USA is the happiest, busiest Main Street in the world. Hello, Walt. Well, hi, Santa. Is everything ready for a big Christmas parade? Everything but the weather. Yeah. Personally, I feel right at home in this snow, but it's not so good for a parade. Well, after all, it is your day, Santa, so make the most of it, you know. I got 365. <laughs> I see what you mean, Walt. But since I'm going to be in that parade, I'd better get ready. Well, good. <laughs> Santa, here's a little present from Walt to Santa Claus. Oh, thank you very much. Just what I needed. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, yeah. go all the way. I'll see you later, Santa. After all of that, there's not much left for me to say except to wish you happy holidays and the best of everything for the new year. <laughs>